Horns up and welcome to a brand new episode of Headbangers Kitchen Keto Recipes. Listen guys, it's too damn hot in Mumbai so I'm not wearing my chef coat so please pardon me. Today I'm going to show you how to make cauliflower rice. Yup, that's right. If you watched my keto recipe for the mutton stew, I served it with cauliflower rice and today I'm going to show you how to make that cauliflower rice. And that's not all. I'm going to show you how to make a delicious chorizo pulao with cauliflower rice and also a delicious creamy mushroom risotto kind of dish. So it's going to be awesome. Let's go make some cauliflower rice now. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do to make our cauliflower rice is prep our cauliflower. And we're going to do that by chopping off the florets from the stalk and also make sure you give the cauliflower a good wash. Then we're going to use our food processor now to make the cauliflower rice. What we're going to do is we're going to use the grater attachment and then just blitz all the cauliflower till you get a nice rice kind of consistency. Now you can also use the regular blade and constantly pulse it till you get nice fine grains of rice which is actually more like couscous so it's more like cauliflower couscous. That's why I use the grater option because I get like strands almost of cauliflower. So that's what I'm doing and this is kind of what it looks like and then we are ready to cook it. Then we're going to get a pan on the gas and we're going to add all our grated cauliflower into that. Whoops, looks like I forgot to take out that attachment. Anyway, don't make that same mistake. The next thing I'm going to do is season it with a stock cube instead of salt because I just prefer it like that. You can use salt, that's fine. Then I'm going to add in some water and cover this and we're going to cook it for about 5 to 6 minutes till the cauliflower is nice and tender. Now halfway through the cooking you definitely want to take that lid off, give it a good mix all around, make sure nothing is burning or sticking, add a little bit of water if you require and then just cook it till it's completely tender. That looks like it's perfectly cooked and ready to go. So there you have it, cauliflower rice, that's all it is actually. So now it's time to make that delicious chorizo pulao using the cauliflower rice. And we're going to start out in a cold pan and we're going to add in our chorizo. And the idea is that the fat in the chorizo starts to render out and it will release all its oils. Now I'm using the Spanish chorizo but you can use the local Indian stuff or you can even use Goa sausage if you like. I'm also going to add a little bit of olive oil just to give it a little bit of help to start rendering all that fat. And you can see now the chorizo is releasing its oils and now we're going to add some cumin seeds to this. And you can see that these start to sizzle immediately. Next we're going to add in one chopped onion. And look at that, mix everything around, look at that, you can see that the onion is stained with those red chorizo juices. Next I'm going to add some ginger garlic paste and again give this a good mix. Next I'm going to add in one chopped tomato. Give that a good mix as well. Now is the time to add in a little bit of turmeric, a little bit of red chilli powder. And now we just want to cook out the spices a little bit so give it a good mix add a splash of water this kind of helps the tomatoes to break down a bit now i'm going to give it a quick seasoning with some salt and some pepper and then we add in our cauliflower rice and give that a good mix till everything is well incorporated and it all looks delicious and for the final touches, I'm going to throw in a handful of fresh coriander and give that another final mix. Now since your cauliflower rice is already pre-cooked, you don't have to cook this for a long time. Your cauliflower rice is done in two minutes. And there you have it. The cauliflower chorizo pulao is ready. And I've garnished it with some fried chorizo bits. Mmm, that looks delicious. Well that's one down and one more to go. So now we're going to make that delicious creamy mushroom risotto kind of dish. And we're going to start out with some butter in our pan. To this we're going to add some garlic and I'm going to add some pepper as well. Nice freshly ground pepper. Next we're going to add in our mushrooms and you're going to season this with some salt to bring out all the liquid from the mushrooms. As the mushrooms start to get some color, we're going to add in our cauliflower rice and saute it together. 
Then we add some fresh cream. And then I'm going to grate some fresh Parmesan cheese over it. Oh my God, that looks delicious. Give that a good mix. And then I add some fresh parsley over that. Give it another good mix. And that's it. Our mushroom risotto using the cauliflower rice is ready. And oh my God, that looks delicious. And that's it. That's how simple it is. All right guys, so now is the moment of truth. Time to taste the chorizo pulao with cauliflower rice and the mushroom risotto kind of thing. Uh, first of all, it's really hot in the kitchen and I'm really, really, really hungry. And I'm also alone again today. There's nobody home to taste the food. So listen, I'm very serious. If any of you are in Mumbai and you think you might want to come over to Juhu where I live and taste the food on the next episode, leave me a comment below. Let's make it happen. I think you guys are the viewers, so you should actually get to taste the food. But for now, let me taste it. The chorizo pulao. Oh, sweet mother, Jesus, Mary, whatever. That is so good. That is, it's flavorful. It's a crunchy chorizo. I'm out of words, guys. Time for the mushroom one now. You know, this is actually my last keto recipe for the next month or two months maybe because I'm going to the UK and things like that. So I'm off keto actually and after eating this I'm like why? This actually tastes good enough for me to want to go back onto keto. And I'm praising myself I guess but you guys please try this recipe at home and tell me how it turned out because I want you to experience the pleasure that I'm experiencing right now. Anyway. If you like the recipe, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will see you on the next episode of Headbangers Kitchen. Cheers and keep cooking.